Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to do my preseason League of Legends power rankings for June 9th um, because tomorrow LPL begins or for some people that see this today, this morning or, you know, afternoon, wherever you live. Um, so I'm going to do a top 25, which is a little bold um, because you see a lot of people do top 10s, which are pretty simple in my opinion. Um, you don't really get into the weeds of things and... Uh, I mean, you don't ruffle as many feathers. I feel like videos like this do upset people. So keep in mind, this is the preseason power rankings nonetheless. So a lot of this is speculation. You're going off of spring regular season, a little bit of MSI. The moves during the off season also matter. Um, you know, I have a feeling I can already, I'm going to guess that I have one fan base that's going to be upset. Um, but I don't really give a rat's behind. So, um, this video, 25th. So I have all these different colors, right? So I have all these damn markers in my pocket to try and like help you be able to, tri you know, pay attention to who is where. 25th, I have Saigon Buffalo. Um, a very good team. Stole a couple games at MSI. You have to respect the fact that they did that. Um, that they could take games off of pretty much anybody. Um, outside of maybe the very elites. But they gave RNG a run for their money. They gave T1 a run for their money. Um, Vietnam is is solid. Um, you know, obviously I didn't have a good read on them going into MSI. And now I feel like I have a better understanding. Saigon Buffalo. Gets 25th place automatically. Um, 24th, I have EG. Um, EG, I do not have first in the LCS. So this is going to be a kind of spoilers too for my LEC and LCS videos. Um, because, I mean, I haven't completed those uh, season previews. Um, EG, I have 24th. I believe EG is a solid team at times, but... I said this when we went into MSI, um, especially with G2 and EG. Both teams were really hot. They were riding hot streaks. And once the wheels started falling off, they fell off hard. EG was able to recover. G2 went deeper into the tournament on a hot streak, obviously, dominating group stage and the early part of Rumble stage. But once, you know, they struggled, they didn't have enough time to recover before the end of the um, tournament. So um, that's a thing. But I feel like both teams are not quite as good as their hot streaks indicate. Um, you know, when you get hot, you get hot. Your confidence is on. And um, EG, I have 24th. I don't think that they are one of the best teams in the world by any means. Um, 23rd, I have um, Vitality. So I think Vitality are better than EG, which kind of says, you know, my thought process is going into this video. Um, Vitality... I mean, Vitality on paper are pretty damn nasty. We know that. Um, I will say the rumors that came out, you know, during the year about Alfari not wanting to play certain champions. I mean, that explains why he makes weird picks in top lane sometimes that don't make sense. Um, that may be picks that are off meta that he is are com that he is comfortable on, and it hurts his team. Um, I think there's too many cooks in that kitchen. But now with Self made out and Haru in, uh, maybe having a guy that's been at the world, I mean, won a championship, been around champions at the highest level, that could um, help, you know, right the ship. Because there's a lot of veterans on that team. I mean, bot lane's kind of an issue. Um, but we'll see if Perks and the squad can get it done. 22nd, I have the Kwangdong Freaks. Um, Keen. See how far Keen can take this team, Keen and Teddy. Um, you know, I I think Fate's pretty good too. Um, in their region, are they a team that's going to make the playoffs, at least in my book? I mean, yes, they're going to be in the playoffs. But do I think they're a world contender? Possibly. I don't. I should have looked it up. Whether the LPL or LCK have four teams in this year's um, uh, Worlds. But if, it, if there is four LCK teams, I could see KDF you know, giving a run for it. Um, next we have C9. I have C9 as above EG. This all obviously hinges on Sven. 
If Zven can play support, they have a good chance early on in the split. There sounds like they're going to be without um, Berserker. He lost his visa or passport or something, or maybe it's all a joke. I don't know. Um, if it is not a joke, I mean, are they that bad off with Zven? I mean, that worse off with Zven and Bot? Probably not. Obviously, Zven's very good. Um, but I don't think Destiny is all that good in support, so it does hurt them. But allowing Fudge to go back to the top where he belongs and having um, Jensen back is, is a massive thing for C9. C9, I think, is a world's team now. Like, they should be top three in the region um, without a real shadow of the doubt. 19th, a team that I did not watch at all. Um, J-Team. J-Team. A team that I didn't watch at all. J-Team. So, um... Second place in PCS, in my opinion. Um, a lot of players we know. I think Uniboy is on the team. Mission, um, Kong Yu, uh, I believe those are some players on the team. Maybe Uniboy is not on the team. I don't know if Uniboy is a bot laner or mid laner. Like I said, I haven't been able to do any of my PCS previews or VCS previews because those leagues are dragging behind. They don't know when they want to start their regular season. They have teams that we don't know who their team is. I mean, yeah, who their team will be. Um, speaking of that, PSG I have 19th for that reason. Um, PSG right now don't have a jungler listed. They have Gory in mid. I think Gory is probably an upgrade over Bay, but um, not all that much. And I don't know if they're going to find you know a player of Juhan's level in the jungle. If they do, I could see PSG moving up on this list. Obviously a very good team um, that could be top 15 in the world at times. Um but right now, without knowing who they are, we have them 19th. Um, JDG is next. Um, JDG, a playoff team in the LPL. You have solid players on it with Kanavi and 369. Sorry about that noise. Um, you know, this team can be good. Um, and in the playoffs, it struggles. Um, you know, we're going to see how they do. Obviously, I believe that there are some teams that are going to get better over time here in the LPL, and that is going to... Um, keep JDG at bay. Um, above JDG, we have the last small region team in this video. I have GAM Esports. I don't know where to really put GAM. People are going to maybe be upset with me because GAM went undefeated. They're a very good team. Very good team in the VCS, but I could care less what you did at the Southeast Asia Games. Um, good for you, national pride, all that jazz, but you didn't play anybody worth their salt at all in that tournament, so... Um, it's hard to get a good read on where they're at. Obviously, better than Saigon Buffalo. So, GAM, hypothetically, could be even higher. Um, next, I have G2. People, this is where people might get upset, because why is G2 so low? Like I said, um, I feel like G2 were riding a hot streak. Sorry, that damn thing's probably ruining the microphone. Um, so, we have G2. You know, I don't... Um, I don't know what to really tell you. I mean, this team was great for a for a uh, good while there. But once they got figured out, they couldn't recover. Um, are they a good team that are getting better? Yes. I think the bot lane is getting better. Um, Caps, if Caps can show up during the regular season, this team will rise. But he was non-existent for a large portion of the spring split for G2. That is why... You know, when I have him in my top fives, I don't have him in there. Because really, where was he during spring? Nowhere. You know, um, there were a few players like that. So, you know, elite players, rookie, showmaker, quite a few players, just nowhere to be found. Um, you know, and I don't know. I, I have G2 here. I have them above Vitality um, in the region. I think that they are a contender for Worlds right now. I would say they're a Worlds team, the third team in. Um Spoiler alert, I guess, because there's two more LEC teams on here. But, um, you know, that's kind of the deal. After that, we have um, another team that people are going to love. This is where I'm, this is what I said when people are going to be upset. So I have TL above G2. TL I have is the number one LCS team on this board. Um, I think that TL... On paper, very much like Vitality, are super talented. It's just a matter of putting it together. 
um core jj was not with them all spring maybe if he's with them all spring and doesn't have you know off the uh rift problems personal issues or whatever um they're probably better if he has his visa situated um they are better um very good team with whippo and top and um you know Bjerg and mid and and han sama at 80 carry with core and santorin was probably their best player all spring long so this team is actually pretty good you know, I feel like LEC fans would be like, well, we went 4-0 against your representative at MSI or 6-0. Yeah, 6-0. Let's be like, yeah, the fourth best LEC team was 6-0 against the fourth best LCS team from spring split that both got hot during the playoffs, went on a run, and like I keep saying, G2, their run continued. EG hit a wall, then they ended up recovering where G2 went deeper with their run, struggled, and never recovered. So that's kind of the deal. I would take TL over G2. Um, I feel like that's going to, you know, upset people. So 14th, um, I have KT. I think KT is a very good team. Um, I'm a big fan of aiming. If you didn't watch my KT video, um, aiming is very good. Um I think uh, Vikla in mid is an improvement over Arya, a massive one. Rascal in top is one of my favorite top laners. If you watched my top five video yesterday, um, I think KT is a very good team. I think they're a team that could go to Worlds um, if four uh, LCK teams are allowed to go. After that, we have um, Weibo, who originally I had forgotten. That's I didn't want to write um, these this down at all. I wanted to wing it, but I um, forgot... Weibo, so it just kind of confirms there's a good idea to, uh, did I forget somebody anyways? No, I didn't. So, Weibo, I have 13th, um, the Shy, Wan Fang, very similar to KT, I like this team on paper, S of M is one of my favorite junglers, um, in mid, they're solid with Angel, this team is good, is it great? No. Do I have it better than JDG? Yes. I think that in every way they're better than JDG. Um, j excuse me. Both jungles are solid. Both mid laners are kind of facilitators and, and, and control mage guys and the, just n allowing um, top lane and jungle to, to do work. However, um, there is an edge in bot for me. I have Wan Feng above um, Hope, I believe, is the JDG AD carry. Um, after that, we have another LEC team, Rogue. I think Rogue are above, um, G2. Why do I have Rogue above G2 when they lost during playoffs? And it's like, well, tell me the last time Rogue didn't have a good regular split and then lose in the playoffs. Like, the team's good. Over a large portion of games, the team is good. So... I like Rogue. I like Malrang. We'll see how Malrang does with a change of um, meta. If he can, ad <coughs> excuse me. If he can adopt the Lilia, um, I think this team is solid. Uh, Larson, solid player. Bot lane, Comp and Trimby. I mean, this team is good. I like this team. Um, it's probably my favorite LEC team. So after that, we have FPX. I have FPX above them. I FPX is the team I am watching most. During summer, um, they have some real talented players on their team that are going to, you know, decide whether they succeed or fail. Zhao Laohu, Zhao Haolu, Zhao Haolu in top. Very, very good top laner. Um, him and Wayward really took top lane by storm in the LPL, the rookies. And then Karen mid is an upgrade over Gori. I think this team is getting better by the game um and this team i wouldn't be surprised if is is if is in this column if it is in this column by um the end of summer it's a very very talented team now the last western team i have is 10th is fanatic and you might say wow you really have that many uh eastern teams above them above um western teams especially you and it's like well let's put it this way 
your fourth place team was a team that was able to go to MSI. Um, are you going to imply that your team, your region is that top heavy, that good? Okay. Um, well, you got smoke showed in the semifinals and during the second half of Rumble stage. So where are we at? Like, are we, I mean, where are we? Third best region in the world. So 10th place for Fnatic. Um, now it's just kind of focusing on, um, LPL and LCK. So I'm going to put my things off to the side here. So, uh, ninth place, I have LNG. LNG on paper is a team that really get, um, you know, similar to how Vitality and TL played star studded lineup that just couldn't get the job done. Uh, we'll see if Tarzan and doing can carry this team, Ale in top lane, and um, Light and Lamau in bot. Like, this is a really good team on paper. But is it going to get it done? We'll see. Um, at its best, it is up here. Um, but we'll see if it can get there. Uh, speaking of another team that would be at its best up there, it's BLG. I actually had a tough time not putting... Um, LNG ahead of BLG despite the addition of Bin. I think Bin is great. I can't sing Bin's praises enough. I always, you know, will talk highly of Bin. I think he is the best top laner in the world. So, um, getting him, big move. Um, Fofo is the problem, though. I think Weiwei and Fofo leave a lot to be desired. So, that's kind of a struggle. Now, sticking with Doggo, all split long and bot should be good for them um i think that they're a team that can contend to go to worlds um but like lng on their best day they are one of the best teams in the world it's just a matter of getting there um so they're there and then seventh we have gen g gen g um you know solid team all around they have the best player in the world in chovy You know, they have, the, they have the best player in the world in Chovy. Doran is solid in top. Peanut has kind of had a revitalization in the jungle in spring. He had some good games. Um, you know, um, you know, playoffs was kind of like a mixed bag for them. But, you know, good team. Really good team. Um, one of the elites. I expect them to be at Worlds and probably move on out of group stage with how good they are. Um, after that, we have RNG, RNG drops. A lot of people will be like, why aren't RNG first? Well, they made them, they had to make a move. Somebody, somebody told me that RNG don't have money. So a team that is this good and wins all the time doesn't have any money. What the heck? So they have Breathe in top. Breathe, obviously a, a, a good top laner. Um, is he been? No. So they drop. Um, they drop and it's as simple as that. Um, I really don't even want to get into it more than that. It's kind of frustrating. Um, fifth place, victory five, uh, victory five. Um, I think at worst they're like here because to be quite frank, rookie sucked in my opinion during spring, his laning numbers are awful. Um, Carsa, I felt like did a lot of the work. I thought Bodic did a great job. His Senna games, some of his Senna games were actually surprising. He may have the best Senna in the world right now. Um, so, and now the Senna TK meta on the horizon as a possibility, or they're like, oh, well, Senna support got nerfed, but AD carry got buffed. Well, Fodic will be happy with that, I guess. He could, might be able to pull it out. Um, if Rookie can just, if the meta can return to a control mage meta and mid, Victory 5 become a team that could win Worlds. Um, but that's what it has to be. If you look at Rookie's numbers, um, his champion pool, he picked like Orianna nine times this past split. I don't think anybody else across the four major regions, you know, zeroed in on Orianna that much because Orianna kind of stunk and therefore Rookie struggled. Um, I don't like Rich all that much in top. I think Rich... Leaves a little bit in top lane to be desired, and that hurts them as well. But if Rookie can return to form in the right meta, I think that Victory 5 are a contender for the whole uh, thing. Right now, we're in the... I mean, the top five are definitely contenders for the whole thing in general. 
Uh, fourth, we have uh, Damwon Gaming, Damwon Kia, however you want to, you know. Wow, that is downright awful. Um, you know, adding Nugri, big move. Obviously, I went over them yesterday. Wow, geez, Louise, okay. I got to actually move to do this. One second. So, so we have Damwon. Um, Damwon Gaming, very good team. Obviously, from years past, we had a team that was, you know, a world's contender. Uh, but without Nugri, they struggled. Birdall and Hoya did not get the job done, and I went over that yesterday. Um, but are they contender for the LCK? Yes, I think they are now. Are they contender to win the whole thing? Yes, I believe so with this move. Um, third place, I have EDG. Um, EDG, I think Scout is one of the best mids in the world. I had that in my video. Flandre, one of the better tops. There is a reason, and people... I mean, RNG had Flandre with Ben trying to help Ben for MSI Finals, actually paying him to help him. Um, you know, EDG is very good. And actually, they were at their worst. Viper kind of stunk. And um, if Viper is on, this team can win Worlds again. Uh, obviously, being the defending world champions. Second best team in the LPL. Best in the LPL, I have top. Uh, top, Wayward. If Wayward can continue, they are phenomenal. Knight is great. In mid, he's probably the only one that can keep up with Chovy in lane. Um, bot lane leaves a little bit to be desired, but at the same time, I think that, you know, the solo lanes are so good. Um, they figured out the jungle situation. They had some struggles early on in spring, but once they got going, it was hard to stop them. They barely lost in the playoffs to RNG. Now RNG lose Bin. I think Top overtakes them. I think Top is the best LPL team. And then last, obviously, T1. Um, and you'll be like, well, T1 lost MSI. And it's like, yeah, they did. You're right. They lost MSI. They lost MSI in game five, right? Against a team that no longer is as good as it was. So they're first. Um it was T1 and RNG at the top, and RNG made a move, so they fall. Um, so comment down below with an opinion of your own. Uh, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content if you stuck with me throughout this entire video. I'll have more content going up throughout the day and every day. Tomorrow, LPL starts, so I'm getting up at, what, the first game's 4.45 my time. So I'm going to get up at 4.30 in the morning, and I'm going to watch the games, fill my board with information, and go over those games for you. Um, later today, I have a... LCS video going up. I have a LCK video going up. I may put the LJL video out. And uh, yeah, so like I said, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content. And uh, 